He's uh, so gifted on the ball. He's clean technically. He's a he's a possession oriented player. Um, he likes to have the ball in the last third. He sees things very quickly, so he's able to slip some passes to forwards very very quickly. Uh, he's a player of, of high level, and uh, we're we're lucky also as a club uh, to, to have him with us. thing that I have to say is uh, how his attitude to integrate with everyone has been, for me I was already, you know, the first time I, I started scouting and looking at, at it well, my, I, I, I felt this is the type of player that fits how I want to play the game as a coach, but then, you know, I didn't know the person and I'm very impressed uh, with how he's integrated, his attitude, his mentality. If he if he keeps training and and growing as a player, his mentality could bring him far, in my opinion. And I expect him to be one of the the, the number eights, mm -hmm. so in front of the defensive midfielder. But I also think that he could play as a number six. Uh, in Bom has the the, the 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 qualities and the characteristics to play, in my opinion, in any position of the midfield. Uh, so that's good for him. He doesn't become a one the type of one-dimensional player, and it's good for his career also. Well, to be honest, when I read that, it's it's not 100% true. <laughs> I don't have a re my relationship uh, with Paulo Bento is a professional one. Uh, we share some contacts that are similar, mm -hmm. uh, like the agency that represents him is Pro 11. And I know the people of Pro 11, so when I started to look at Inbom, then I said, hey, let me talk with the coach, and they connected me. Our, our conversations were very good, though. I feel that, you know, when we'll meet, it's, uh, we, we share a lot of good ideas and similar ones, and culturally, of course, my background being Portuguese, uh, and his, his, his evaluation of the player and the details he gave me uh, uh, as, as, uh, as a player uh, really reassured me on what I was looking at. I think uh, South Korea is a very good manager and uh, he's going to do good things in the country. Oh, he told me the things I was seeing. He says that it's a, told me he was a player that, that could play in any of the positions you know, uh, that, that we're building. Uh, defensive midfield number eight. He told me that he used them in a flat two. He told me he used them in a 4-3-3. Um, he told me about the qualities that he had and, and things that he needed to work a little bit on. Uh, maybe sometimes he could be a little bit more courageous outside the box and try, you know, shot outside the box because he's he's in those kind of areas. Maybe we can help him with that. But the, the, the how he defined the player was very very similar to what we were seeing in training uh, with the games we were watching. So we're we're, we're, we're discussing with the performance group. Uh, because yeah, we're excited to have him. We right. want him to to play and participate. But at the same time, there's a process. You know, he, he, he after the Asian Cup, he had a break, and then he he wasn't actually training in the club. So we have to gradually bring him back. This today was the the heaviest load he got. So I think I asked him this morning, "Do you have 20 minutes?" And he told me, "No, I have 30 minutes." <laughs> he has no pressure from me. Maybe from. The people expectations are always high. I want him to integrate well. If he integrates well with the culture, the league, our club, his football's gonna come out. So I'm not concerned with that. It's already a successful story for me in my opinion. Goaltimi 구독자 3만 이벤트 이번에는 3만이다. 손흥민 사인이 담긴 함부르크 유니폼을 드립니다.